Hey guys, so in this video, I will be re-reviewing to you the G-Sky Telescope because in my old video, I don't think I did it good, so I'm going to be redoing this. So the first thing that you should see should be a small telescope and a tripod. Now, this telescope uses this cover just over here. So that's what makes it look really big. Only it's not really that big. Poof. So there should be a covering on top of that cover just to cover up and keep it safe. You can take that off. And there should be one in the first leg. So you can just unscrew this right over here. And take it off. Simple and easy. Your telescope is now okay to put lens on. You, now you have the tripod to set up. So you can just take these legs apart, there's three of them, and set it down. Once you have that set down, this handle over here should be able to turn. And once you finish turning it, you should be able to move it easily. Now to not, uh, not to lock this tripod, you just turn the handle the opposite direction. So this way it will be locked. So now you can go ahead and put the, uh, the telescope on top of the tripod. So now we have three types of lens. We have the large lens, we have the Barlow lens, and we have the small lens. So the small lens can be used to look at something in a clear graphics that's not as far away as the moon. So if you're just wanting to trust out your telescope in the daytime, and you're like, okay, I guess there's that tree, I can take a look at it, you would want to use these. So the big lens, these help you look at the moon in the nighttime. Now, let's say you don't want to look at the moon and you want to look at a distant planet like Mars. In order to look at those, you would need the Barlow lens three times. So all these Barlow lens really do is it increases these three times and it increases this two to, uh, three times. So, I mean, if you were going to look at Venus, you would probably use Barlow lens plus this. And in order to do that, I'm going to explain to you how to put these together now. You can go ahead and open this up. This should just slide open and the big lens should come out. This lens should be protected with a black cap on top of it. You can take that off. And so you can just go ahead and fit this inside the Barlow lens. But you have to be careful that this is unscrewed or else the, the Barlow lens could break. And you can just fit it inside and tight it up. But not too tight. So this becomes your new lens. Once you have an increased version of your lens, you can go ahead and put them inside of your telescope. And the same process is done here. You untighten the screw, you slide it in, and you tighten it back up. So you would repeat this process again with the smaller lens. So this is the last part of the video. In this, in this part, I'm just going to be explaining to you how you get the, the accurate view. So it's like a game. You can't, really, you can't really make it perfect unless you keep trying and keep trying. So let's say that... I have locked a target right now. My target is the tree. Okay, there's a tree in front of me, right? Now, if I look inside of it, all I see is blurry. I, I, I'm, it's blurry. I don't see nothing. That's because you haven't messed with the, the function to make it perfect, to make it accurate enough for the, the telescope to show you the graphics. So, in order to make it like that, you can just play with this, make it go up a bit, down a bit, until you get the perfect view. Once you get the perfect view, you can go ahead and take a photo of it or you can just look at it. But yeah, that's that's the end of the video. And uh, so basically in my other video, uh, I didn't really explain it good. I don't think I explained it in a good way. So I did a remake for that video and let me know what you think thought of my explanation.